Hello and welcome to Endless Mode, I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And today we're going to try out Kamiko, uh, a game I picked up on the Nintendo eShop for $5. Um, I think it's really cool. Visually, it's got a lot going on. Well, already uh, it uh, looks better than Vroom in the Night Sky or whatever. Oof, yeah, I mean, I like Vroom in the Night Sky, and we're going to definitely play it on channel at some point, but... Uh, at twice the cost yeah. and half the programming, it definitely... Mm. It's quirky. That's that's what I can say. This one plays really good, in my opinion. Okay, so it looks like we got a uh, water-based greatsword, your standard green woody ranger, and a fire-based sword and shield. So, let's see. I think I'm going to go with Fire Gal. I like the sword and the shield. and She's the only one who's smiling. Oh, that's true. That's because she's passionate. Ah. <laughs> oh, child of the transient world, abrupt though this may be, they are, thou art now summoned to the realm of the dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> I made a mistake. <laughs> well, no, uh, I think they're all, like, shrine maidens of some oh, manner or other. Sense. And you're... Sealist? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I don't think that's a word, but I think this was made by Japanese people. So. The transit world becomest est rulest by said demons. Oh, I appreciate the effort of old timey English guys, but maybe calm down on that a little bit. The imperial regalia est. Uh, the, the mirror, mirror of Yolta the... eth. <laughs> the theft. This weapon had been granteth. To thou, because amongst the Shrine Maidens you hold special power F. Okay. Alright. Please stop. Transient realm. Was that like the mortal realm? Because we die? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, I got a combo bar, I got health, I got stamina. Right. Oh yeah, you you picked the like magicy mid-range character. You do have a little dagger for your close range, or short sword, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, uh, okay, if I get close, I'll switch to that automatically. Right, but you're you've got a mid-range attack in that okay, so magic got ball. A you're, one, you're a magic I've warrior. Got a one bullet twin stick shooter thing going on. Yeah. Um. Right, Honestly, switch, the game reminds but... me a little bit of, uh, like, original top-down Legend of Zelda. Yeah, I could see it. It's it's a lot of roaming around and uh, exploring the world. I will say that the stages are a bit more manageable than Zelda, though, because uh, the map size isn't quite so sprawling, because uh, it's separated into areas. Oh, like, this I is the Forest it, of yeah. Awakening, and you're going to traverse the map in order to open the doors to get to whatever the problem is in the Forest of Awakening. Whatever it is that's causing all these monsters to pop up, which, right. which do come back. Oh, I've got a currency to find things in chests. Okay, that's right. what that is. It uh, comes back when I defeat enemies. Yep. Defeating enemies is the, the name of the game. Um, <laughs> hey, they're fast. Bees! Bees! They, they do kind of respawn on you a little quick, but, uh... And they do kind of spawn on top of you almost, so you have to be definitely on your guard. But, uh... No, it's good! Ah, I can attack through walls. That's uh, really handy. Those are your health. Oh, I see. Uh, so I, I generally don't break pots unless I need health. Uh, because those are a finite resource. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what do we got in here? Teleporter, okay. And you Save notice that point. you notice that each of those uh, went with something somewhere else on the map. Yeah. You just unlocked one of like four of them. Okay, that's handy. And that is the eventual goal: is unlock that uh, teleporter pad because that takes you to like a, a boss fight sort of deal. Uh, there are little like hidden spots in the game. Back. Oh, yeah, you can't attack while carrying a key. <laughs> good. Good. Great. <laughs> that was How do I use it? Oh. Uh, keys open doors. Uh, 
so you'll need to carry it until you find the right kind of door. That door? It's not that door. Uh, I don't think you have to set it down. Uh, I think when you go in front of the right thing, it will just... Okay, I see. I think so. How much you want to bet it goes into one of those walls? Probably. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've played this one. Uh, I bought it when it first came out and uh, played the heck out of it for a little bit, and then I think, like, Arms or Splatoon or something came out, and I kind of got distracted. Well, it wasn't Arms. We still haven't played that one. Well, okay, the and... demo for Arms. But you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Some, some big budget game came out, and I forgot about my delightful little game. But uh, I really... I don't think it's that one, because you dropped a key on it already. I think it's going to open a chest, if I had to take a, a wild guess. This is fine. I'm doing good. You are doing good. You're doing very good. Um, I think you can move that block over. Yeah. Okay. Okay, neat. Now I gotta kill all these guys. That did a thing. Yeah. Oh! Uh, if you press and hold, you can do some kind of special ability. Hmm. I don't remember what it is. Oh! The, that goes, you know those two blocks that had, like, circles? Yeah. That you first tried the key on? That's what that goes to. I do remember I that. See. Seen it. It told you to press A to... So do I just need to grab another one, then? Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember what your press and hold is. Uh, I know the big sword gal would spin. Hell, I don't have a press and hold, so... Are you sure? Yep. Hmm. But I got this. Hmm. Maybe that's what yours is. I keep pressing the button I attack with the dagger. Ah. Uh, uh, I know that the ranger gal will start to shoot more arrows, or like bigger volleys of arrows. Um, I think I played with the magic girl that you're playing with like the least, so I have the least helpful advice for it. That'll be another one of them. Wherever on the map that is, yeah. <laughs> Somewhere further up if I had to take a... a game. A, a, a guess in the dark. But... Okay, so I got that, I got that. Up here's a dead end, and I got it already. <laughs> You're doing good, though. Uh... I will say that there are sometimes little, like, hidden spots where you can go, like, where the trees are covering a path, and you can uh, walk through them. That would make sense. There, there's, there's a lot of hidden stuff in this game that I know I haven't found, uh, but I've run into some of it because it was just obvious enough that I figured it out. I think putting both orbs in opens that, uh... What do you mean, both orbs? Well, I mean, there's another orb somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, I see. There's bushes. Right, yeah. Shrubs that you can go, like, underneath and stuff. Oh, yeah, and that path there. Yay! Oh, wait, like, these trees are spaced enough I could crawl through. <laughs> You don't want to get bogged down in the trees, you might get, you know, overrun by monsters. Yes. Uh. I know, he shoots. Yeah, those little kappa things are a big pain. See what I mean? Oh, uh, yes. Thin spots of the trees there will let you go through them. But I guarantee I haven't found all the little nooks and crannies of this game. There's no way. Oh, neat. Uh, was that more. That is a. You have a higher total amount that you can carry now, yeah. Hmm, okay. So that was a that was a character upgrade. Not something you had to find, but you did. Oh, there's another one over there. What's that? Uh, I saw another treasure chest. Ah. Ow. One of them's bound to have the other orb. <laughs> your, your other orb friend. Yeah, that's that's a good question. 
But doesn't this doesn't this give you kind of a, a yeah. Zelda vibe? No, it's it's not just me, right? Yeah, it's good so far. Yeah, I mean, visually, it's it's got its own look and its own feel. But oh, that's where your key goes. Well, that's good. At least we figured out where that goes. Can you get into the forest on the left there? Or is that... Okay, that is... Sealed off. It's just down here. Oh, there you go. Nice job. Oh, man. Hooray. That is where your orb was. Now we just hope that everything you killed doesn't respawn too quickly. Oh, it does. Some of it didn't. That, that last room you were in didn't respawn. You didn't have to worry about the guy that shoots, at least. True. I've gotten sniped True. by that guy and dropped that orb before. I do remember that. Ah. Oh no, they take multiple hits. Yep, they're a different color. This, this automatically denotes them as stronger. Oh, you found the room where all the little shrine thingies have been opening up. Okay, that seems like an end of level thing. Mm -hmm. Doing good though. Chopping down bad guys left and right. What was he even shooting? Oh, there was a shooty guy in there. Ah. Uh, and there's a shrine down to the right somewhere. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, everything has sort of a, a delightful yokai sort yeah, of feel. Yeah, no, I like it. It's, um, uh, it looks like a health upgrade. Yep. So that's good. Uh, like the little shooty guys, uh, those look like Kappa to me. I don't know if they're supposed to look like Kappa. Kappa or Boyds. Yeah, yeah. But the little top of their head looks like it has the little peak on top oh, that's yeah, supposed yeah. to be the dish. Maybe I'm reading too much into the mass of pixels that I've been given to work with, but... Alright, got three out of four. Oh, and there's a health down there to the your right. Yeah. But yeah, I know everyone has a special, I just don't remember how to do it. <laughs> oh, you figured out how to dash. Not sure I like it. You don't have to do it! <laughs> Just because you can run doesn't mean you have to. Can't run when I'm carrying anything, so... That makes sense. Out of the way, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man! Nothing but... Nothing but ranged characters. See you later, suckers. Oh, no! Bees! <laughs> you unlocked your doom! Uh, it looks like behind that shrub is a little secret spot. There. Oh, okay. You, you figured it out as I said it. So I just noticed that he opens his mouth. It's a mouth beam. Yeah. Just sort of a, a fun animated touch there. I like that while it looks like a game that could play on like a Nintendo, mm. uh, the animation is a little more yeah, Everything's robust. a bit too fluid for the Nintendo. I it's think. a little nicer than it would be if it was on that hardware. Like... I appreciate people making games that, you know, have that authentic look to them, but I like it when we use, you know, the last couple decades of advancement to make that look as good as it can look while still looking like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like how Shuffle Light has, uh, scrolling and stuff. Later, suckers. But yeah, I, I haven't seen anything about this game, which is weird. Uh, I ran into it because I like browsing the eShop when I'm bored. Oh, you get to pick a power-up before you go fight a boss. Get an extra piece. Pick a power-up. Oh, do you get both? Looks like. Oh. Aha. I'm the greatest. Uh-oh. Oh, no.
But look, it's a guardian spirit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Except that it's very clearly been corrupted by that whatever. Gotta figure out how to do stuff to it. Yep. Well, it smashed down on a button, oh, and then I the button that, stayed yeah. depressed. So that seems to be the thing. Uh-oh. Okay, I've got a time limit. It has a set pattern that it do, and then it, uh, I'll, I'll follow you around, like, a certain number of hops. And then it'll... Come here, you. Ow! I'll be honest, I usually take a couple of hits get them there. Uh, Ow. not the best way to do it, but, uh, I ain't proud. Nice job. Solid hits. Yeah, I know. Just, now you just rinse and repeat. Okay. You'll, you'll notice that he shoots a bit more between rounds now. Like, yeah. he is going to get pretty cantankerous by the end of it. But, uh, you basically figured this guy out. I mean... But this is a, this is a classic Zelda-style boss fight here. Because there's, you know, the puzzly bit of how do I do, and then wail on the bad guy. I know, it's over here. Yep. <laughs> ah, no. It's like a bullet hell game for a second there. I'm in trouble. Oof. Ah. You were so close, too. Alright. I think he's actually easier to get on the buttons in the later uh, versions, because he does multiple hops each time he does it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this first round was the one that really gave me hell. Ooh. Doing good. That's much better than I usually look by the end of one of those. Okay. So yeah, no, you're you're making my early playthrough look like <laughs> absolute rubbish now. I was I was looking forward to this because it's like, oh, I'm the person who has like game knowledge and you know, can look like I actually know what the heck I'm talking about with regards to like, you know, hashtag video games. But uh no, you have you have already surpassed me. Uh, you know, puzzle bosses are easy once you know how. I, I will say that it, it definitely helps once you figure out their little their little uh, trick. Uh, also, I gotta say, I think I really like the Magic Girl's uh, one-two combo hitting him. Mm. Uh, it ensures you get a couple of good hits in on him, even if he's over there. Yep. Uh, with the Sword Girl, it was always this like mad dash across the stage <laughs> to try and get in there and wail on it. Alrighty, so that's stage one of Kamiko. Uh, next time on Endless Mode, we'll see if we can find some more stuff on the Switch to play, and maybe we'll play some more of this. Who knows? Yeah! Oh, I'd love to play with one of the other characters. They all have their own little moveset and stuff. Anyway, enough gushing about this game. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Catch you later.